Hey guys, Lion Game here, and welcome to a video. Uh, I, I, I ran a poll on Twitter, and you guys said that I should start doing some Click to Infusion 2.5 game dev tutorials. So I'm going to start off slow today. I'm going to be doing some global events because I know that I've only just actually let's use this, and it's actually really useful. Uh, and I know a, a friend of mine is actually having a bit of trouble as well, so I think you know it's good to help him out. Uh, but before this video gets started, I would like to say that this this uh, this isn't me saying like oh I'm, I'm sorry I've been away, but basically I I'm just I feel like I uh, I just want to upload when I want to upload you know uh, and I'm sorry if that's what you guys don't want but I mean if you well, I'll I'll do some videos that you guys want like I don't know you want to see some Fortnite some Minecraft I don't know I can do it uh, I have been streaming over on Twitch every now and then you can go watch me over there but I just. I just don't feel, I, sometimes I just don't feel in like the right mindset to like record and upload, however like today I want to I wanna record. Uh, I actually have like a, a game dev series all planned out for you to watch. Uh, it's going to be coming soon hopefully. Uh, I'm not going to give too much away, uh, away about what it is but it's, it's like a nice little simple introduction to anyone that wants to get started in the world of game dev in Click Team Fusion 2.5. But that's it, enough rambling. Uh, so if you're here, you're wanting to learn about global events. Uh, now I've 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 I, I taught myself this because I, I can't actually find any tutorials on YouTube about this. Um, so we're gonna create a new scene, uh, a new application. <clears throat> so there's some things I want to get us set up first. Okay, so in the scene one, uh, let's input like a. This is gonna be like a player. Okay. And we're going to set him to be, I don't know, set him to be kind of like an orange colour. There you go. That there is our player. Alright, so you can see we run this right now. We don't do anything. Now, if you, I don't know if you guys are following my player movement controller, but um, I'm going to be going kind of through that, just not with the collisions. But if you have seen that, then you would know we would normally go up here to the event editor on this frame. The only problem with that is if we do something with the code in here if we say that the player has to move in here then we also have to go into all the other frames uh, and copy and paste the same code which takes up valuable time all right there's a quick way to get around it so if we go back into our frame first off we're going to rename this player because one thing you have to do one thing you have to remember to do is name your object something and then it has to stay the same name um Otherwise, it, it's gonna you're gonna have to import it again, and you're gonna have to write all the code for it again. Okay. Anyway, so what we want to happen is we want this guy to move around the screen and stuff, and it's all gonna be all gonna be anky panky. So we're gonna go to application two, and then you see this little grid here, events. Normally, if you go to this free, uh, this player, that little grid is uh, like your qualifiers. Uh, whereas if you go to application 2, you click on it, it says here global events. If you edit your global events, right, then you get greeted with this. Now, this looks like the original kind of page to it, uh, like the, the actual like coding screen. Okay, so we're going to click here and we're going to want to import this guy. So that's our player. Now we've just imported him. All right, so a new condition the keyboard, repeat while key is pressed, W. We're going to go position, set the Y coordinates to equal the current Y coordinates of him. Uh, I believe it's minus, and then we'll do, I don't know, like three. Okay, so now if we run this, we should be able to move him up. And there you go. So uh, I'm going to go through this and do all of uh, the different directions. Uh, it's essentially just changing Y's to X's. If you want a more in-depth tutorial, there should be a little I in the top uh, left or right corner right now. Uh, that's basically, uh, you can click on that and it'll take you to my uh, player movement controller, but I'm just gonna speak to this. So I'm done with all that. 
so now we should have our guy moving in eight directions. Um, yep, as you can see here, we got him moving in all eight directions. So you may be thinking, Leon, what what the hell's the point of this? You know, uh, it's, it's, it's just it's just basically the same, but it's not because if we go here and then we make a new frame, double click onto this frame, okay? Then what we can do is we can grab this player and then drag him over here and then if we run this frame well this is the start frame so we need a way to switch the frames over so I'm gonna do that just in the regular frame editor so I'm gonna do it if I press F it's going to go to it's going to jump to frame 2 so now if I run this okay I'm moving around here and as I press F it'll go into the next frame which is pretty pretty cool pretty cool so another thing that I want to do real quick is I want you to be able to save your players location so that you can kind of go seamlessly between frames this will kind of be useful if you're kind of doing like a teleporter into like another frame and they're both in like the same location um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to go to global values. I have another tutorial on global values that will also be in the cards up above. So we're going to call this one X player. Okay, and then we're going to call this one Y player. So we have two values there and at this beginning we're just going to set them to uh, about 200 and 200. So we'll go back into here. Edit global event. Uh, let's just create a group of events called frames. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to make it so the keyboard, upon pressing, let's say, G, is going to set the X player to equal the X position of this. And then it's also going to set uh, Y player to equal the y position of this okay so that's not going to do anything right now like i'm pressing it and then if i switch frame it's not going to do anything so what we're going to have to do is at start of frame we're going to set the position the x position of this to equal uh, x player and then also position set the y coordinate to equal Y player. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to frame 1 and I'm just going to make this like a grey, that's, that's not a grey, that's like a blue to be fair. I'll also go to frame 2 and set this to be like a purple. And I also just need to include the line of code here, which you could probably, um, probably mess around with in the global events. So instead of F though I'm going to make it R just to avoid any possible bugs whatsoever. Uh, we're going to jump to frame 1. So now, if I go to, I can go to frame, oh, I'm just playing the frame, if I, I can go here, I can go to frame 2, and come back to frame 1. Okay, and then if I go over here, and I press G, and press F, it's going to put me over there. I'm going to go back down here, I'm going to press G, and then I'm going to press R, and it's going to keep me down here. So that's a little something you can do. Uh, uh, one last thing I want to go over is... Uh, kind of destroying objects this can be useful for like an XP function or something if you guys want to see me do uh, like XP then you can uh, definitely be sure to leave a comment and I will I'll be sure to go over it one day uh, because uh, there's a nice little project I'm currently working on that heavily relies on XP and it, it, it's not really difficult but it is uh, just kind of tedious. So we have a little XP ball here, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our global events here and we're going to make it so that if the player collides with import this, then what it's going to do is it's going to do destroy this. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to create a nice little counter down here. And this counter is just going to display our current XP. So let me just uh, title this XP count. 
So we have our XP count, our XP, we have it destroying. Uh, and now what we want to do is we want to make a uh, also a value inside here, just call it XP, set that to zero at the beginning, and then we're, we're going to go to application global events. So it's going to destroy that, and then it's going to go to global values, add to. Did we not make it? Ah. That's why, because uh, in the frame one it has it, but in frame two it doesn't. So you're going to want to create all of your kind of th thingies, uh, all your also values before you do this. I'm guessing. XP set to zero, and then also values add to. Again, not doing it, but uh, we'll just roll with it and see if it works. And um, we want to go uh, always. Uh, set the counter, so set counter to equal right, okay, now I'm not sure if this will work right now because I think I may have messed up but if I just put this in here as well and then also put this in here, down here this should hopefully work, so it's 0 and then it's 10 and then if we go into F, it's still 10, there you go, so that works and just to prove that it works inside frame two, uh, I'm just going to uh, just duplicate this a bunch of times. And we're just going to scatter these around. So essentially, that's just the frame. Okay, there we go. So I can pick that up. Let's save our location over here. Let's go to the next frame. We have all these. For some reason, that has done that. Which is extremely weird. So if I pick that up, press G. Hmm. That did that that time. Okay. <clears throat> Let me just bug fix that real quick. Okay, guys. So I think I know what's going on. Uh, I actually deleted everything just to make sure it wasn't that. But uh, essentially what's happening is it's... It's just because it's switching frames. So in this frame, he's set to zero. And then also in this frame is set to zero because while they still have the same global events, they are completely different entities. Um, so this alter value here will not correlate whatsoever with this alter value here, which means we're going to have to make another global value called XP. Okay. And then we're going to have to go back into the global events and instead of adding 10 to that alter value, to go over here and we're going to add to XP 10 and then we're going to set this to equal XP so now if we run it's set to 0 it stays the same as you can see there it stays the same and then we can go back in and because yeah there, there are still more of these uh, which I don't know, you can fix on your own because uh, it, it's, it, that, that's all for just for, yeah. But you can see this works, and that is like a basic rundown of uh, global, val uh, global uh, events. So you can take this tutorial, you can apply it in any way you want. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. Uh, and I will try and make a video tutorial on them. If you guys want to see a video tutorial on XP, then be sure to leave that in the comments. However, it may be introduced to the little game that we're going to be making in a uh, episodic series. Anyway, so if you guys enjoyed that video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next video.